Welcome back to the channel. A short video here on what I think will be the world's simplest oscillator. It's running right now, you might be able to see the green LED on. We'll go indoors and we'll chat about it, I'll show you about it, but also this thing will run from the light of a bedside alarm clock. You know those LED ones from the 1990s? The light from one of those will make this run. Let's go indoors. Back indoors at the small work table, here is the circuit running. Now it looks very similar, and is very similar, to the one that myself and Milky Way Outcast were working on a while back. The thing is, on that circuit, I needed to use a piece of tin foil across the axle inductors, in this case 1000 UH, and we had the capacitor 47 UF. But, um, <clears throat> watch this. And it's still going. No capacitor. All we've got is a pair of 1000 UH inductors and a single NPN transistor. In this case, a 2N2222. That's it. Completely it. So that has to be the simplest oscillator you can make. The only thing you've got to do is make sure that the two axial inductors are completely side by side, as close as they can be together. And the reasoning is because if I move these two away, there we are, see? It only works very partially like that. If I bring them together, it increases the light. There we go, next to each other. So next, I'll show you what happens with this in low light and it is absolutely incredible. So what I've done now is I've turned off the usual lamp that I have going on the table. You can see the shadow going across and it goes across the panel and goes across the light meter over here. So we've got 1.67 lux, that's all. And yet that green light is still on. 1.67 lux. I'll just try and line it up a little bit better with the sensor, the angle and whatnot. Yeah, 1.67. But if I take it away from here, there we are, we're back up to, well, 7.5, 8.33. When it's not in the shade. But there we go, 1.67. A couple of notes you may have guessed, but the solar panel is from one of these Dollar Tree Solar Garden stake lights. They put out about 100 milliamps and they're absolutely huge. Also, in full sun, uh, they will produce 2.53, 2.54 volts, but they still produce about a volt indoors. Now, let's really push this thing to its limits with low light, because I find this absolutely amazing and wanted to share it. So I started experimenting, and this is our infrared heater. Well, if I put the circuit nearby, the LED comes on just from the light. This is a little light from Himalayan rock salt. If I go near it with the circuit, the light comes on quite well. And this is my wife's bedside clock. And as you can see, that green light at the bottom is on just from the digits of the clock. So in summary, it's even easier to make than a jewel thief. In fact, everything's made for you. There's only those two inductors, the LED, and the transistor to worry about. And if you use one of those dollar store solar panels, then it's just it'll just run everywhere all the time. Absolutely great stuff this. Right, well, thanks very much for watching and see you next time.